the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Welcome back. Today is Inauguration Day 2021, January 20, 2021. And I'd just like to put a few thoughts out there for the coming months, the kickoff of the Sports Vote Campaign and what that means. So what the sports vote campaign means is that we're looking for a single league. We just need one. We need to cast the the net as wide as we can to find a single league that we can demonstrate our platform with by starting up a third instance of the trading engine. As a reminder, there are currently two engines running. The learning market, which is purely fictional money, and what we call the pilot market, which is based on what we call loaned money or bonus margin. The third instance would be a full deployment of the platform as we intended with one-to-one corresponding balances between cash and uh, the representation of that cash in the market. And all of the things that the system has been designed to do we've never actually had an opportunity to demonstrate it. So The idea here is to cast the net as wide as possible. Um, I believe the most uh, successful platform for that is uh, through a book that makes it onto the New York Times bestseller list. Um, I've observed that process through the Hero Club, which I was engaged with for about two years. Um, That's how they kicked everything off. I, I saw the whole thing up close, had a lot of conversations about it. I understand how to get from here to there. So that is, um, and it, it's a it's a process. It's not really um, a gamble, so to speak. It's uh, it's pretty clear cut what you need to do to make that happen. It's not random. So that becomes a anchor. Uh, you know, as television shows have what they call a bible, which has all of the character profiles and story arcs and all of that. Uh, this serves the same function. Uh, It will serve the same function for us, and it will give us a piece of material that can be used in the press to go out and uh, talk about what it is that we're, what we do and and what we're looking for. So we know how to use the press. Um, You know, we've done it from Costa Rica all the way back in 2005. Uh, It's a known track for us. We have good contacts in the press. Uh, we haven't done anything with the press in quite a while because there's no story. Um, this is the story we want to put out. And I believe this is the time more than ever. Um, you know, the as I said in the last podcast, the issue here really is not politics. Um, that's just symptom. It's a symptom. The real issue is lack of opportunity in the middle. And that's very real. Um, it's been degrading for a long time, at least 20 years, probably closer to 40 years. And uh, I think that getting into this moment um, by putting up something new, a lot of the materials that I've been studying uh, regarding, uh, you know, extreme extremism, uh, you know, uh, even the Civil War, we're at a point where there's so much friction that you really can't even, you can't even talk about it without uh, causing a problem. You can't talk about the direct problem. You need to find a third way, uh, a third topic. So that topic is sports. Uh, You know, you can say, well, we'll just talk about sports. Now, right now, if you talk about sports and money, you're only going to be talking about gambling. And that's only because the public market is not aware of what we have. So through the publicizing of a book launch... Uh, And referencing that book, uh, we're going to distribute it through Amazon. That's really the best and least expensive and fastest way to get it out as far and as wide as possible and also the least expensive for the customer. Uh, For us, it's just a digital product and it can be downloaded anywhere. You will be able to get other versions of it, paperback, hardback, and all that will come along. Uh, Paperback probably right away, but other formats like hardback and so forth will come later on. So this is the platform. This is the way to do this. And this is what I've been working on actually for more than a year now. It was slated for uh, the summer of of 2020, and that didn't happen because of the COVID-19 and 
that really killed the whole publishing. It would have killed everything, but it, it killed the publishing industry. Um, all of the promotional stuff that you really need to kind of tie into all got um, destroyed by that. So uh, here we are at 2021. We have a, a change in the presidency. Uh, you know, we'll see where that goes. I, I'm not going to make any claims on that part. Just saying that now is the time, I think, to use sports as the peacemaker between the factions and say, look, the problem is lack of opportunity. This is a way to create opportunity anywhere for anyone, um, and it's accessible. Uh, the book is not intended to be an intellectual uh, exercise. It's intended to be a practical um, pl a practical toolkit that you can use to not only understand what it is we're doing, but to find your place in it, meaning that your place might be a trader, your place might be an analyst, your, pl your place may be you want to build that first sports league. Um, maybe you look at the, the material and say, Hey, I can, I can do this. I can, I can put together a, um, a league in my town. And then we tell your story to the press. And then that I'm absolutely confident that that will bring all the pieces together. So that's really what uh, this is all about. I'm actually very hopeful, um, for, for the future. I, I really think that we can walk into this gap right now and speak to the real issue. Uh, I've listened to hundreds of hours of materials, uh, political materials and so forth on all sides, and everybody's coming to the same conclusions, which is really, no matter how strongly you feel one way or the other, the reason we got here is because basically the American dream is not living up to the advertising, and it hasn't for a long time. And we are that and I, I totally, totally believe this, along with the rest of the team. This is not a hype talk. This is real. I believe that, that that mechanism through sports investment, through the product that we've created, we have the only product that is known to work in this space. I'm not saying it's the only one that will ever exist, but it's the one that we built. We know that it works. It's work. It's been the current iteration of the market has been live more than six years on the learning side and almost five years on the on the um, the pilot market side, and I know that prop you know when it's put out there to its full exactly the way it was designed, that it's going to really um, it's going to change the world and it's going to do something new, uh, you know, provide a new way for opportunity to be generated anywhere, and that is our contribution to making things better and to lessening the the friction, the political turmoil, and all the things that are going on, um, that stuff will abate when people are not having struggles and they're not feeling like they're being left behind and all of that stuff. And again, sports is pervasive. It's universal. So that's really what this is all about. Um, and, you know, we Americans want shortcuts. You know, gambling is trying to walk into this space and say that they're the solution. They're not the solution. And any sane person knows that, I mean... You can try to put dressing on the pig, the lipstick on the pig, as they say, but it's still a pig with lipstick on it. You're not going to brag about your gambling activities. N nobody does this. And to say that you're going to build a better country around gambling is just on the face. It's insane. It doesn't even make any sense. So um, I think the concept of sports inv investing, when, when people get that, just the word invest, that's a very positive word. Everybody knows that. Invest in your health, invest in your finances, invest in your home, invest, you know, it's, it's, it's a positive, uplifting word. And we have an instrument that will allow people to invest in sports performance, sports performance investing rather than sports performance gambling. Okay. So, um, and finally, you know, this is a longer range uh, part of this, but it's something I've had in mind for about 15 years now, and that is ultimately that political power will be gained through in the public. The public will gain political power through their knowledge of sports. How is that possible? Well, that's possible because they're going to understand their finances better. And when, you know, that kind of thing tends to spill over into the rest of your life, you, you get better handle on your finances. Then you wait, wait a minute, you know, how does the system really work? What's really going on behind the scenes? Uh, that is what will happen. Um, you know, that's a much larger part of this, but that's really where it's headed. So, um, so that's, that's kind of where we're at. 
at this time. This is um, a six-month march to the book launch. I think that the July 4th release date is, is optimal. Uh, it fits with the publishing schedules, um, and it fits with the timeline I'm going to need to finish this. So, uh, you know, that's, that's the timeline, about six months from now. And then finally, um, as an interesting part of this, at least I think it's interesting, it's going to be actually tied to a piece of land. So when you purchase the book, you're not only going to get the book, but you're going to get a little fraction of, of a piece of land. And, and then the website, the Nation Builder website, is, the, is a place to prospect. And I'll, I'll tie all that. I'm going to kind of leave that hanging out there right now because, as a teaser. But the idea is this is a handbook and a, a prospecting kit uh, for the for the uh, for the new sports economy and what we're calling the new American dream, a a, a a middle class that is restored around sports investing, sports sports performance investing, and all of the things that will build up around that. And then one final point: this just came in today. The 1961 Wire Act. There's been some court challenges. There was a, an outcome today, and in summary, uh, the 1961 Wire Act is still in force which means that interstate sports gambling is illegal. It is illegal at the federal level if it crosses state lines. And with the current technology, the way that the world works, everything is in the cloud. Everything crosses state lines. So it's our position, and it's been my, our position for a while, that any active online sports gambling that is taking place right now is still 100% against the law. It doesn't have any, the, the repeal of PASPA is not the story, the whole story. The Wire Act is still there. So hopefully with this new administration, we'll see some law enforcement that we did not see under the present administration. Thank you, and please stay safe with your friends and your family. Bye.